In this video, we'll show you how to install drywall in residential construction. Before we get started, you'll need the following safety equipment. Safety gloves, safety glasses, N95 face covering for sanding and finishing, and for extra protection on the job site, you can wear a hard hat. Ready to install? Let's get going. Before your installation begins, fully inspect the wall framing for any defects or issues. Fix any problems you find before continuing. Be sure to store the new boards flat on the floor. Next, measure the framing spacing to determine the right board length. Remember to make sure your boards are of maximum practical length so there's a minimum number of end joints. Then, measuring from the floor, determine the location of all receptacles and mark the floor beneath each one. After marking the receptacles, you're ready to cut the board. Using the measurements from earlier, mark the board to be cut. Take your retracting drywall knife and score along the line deep into the core. Snap the board away from the cut and if needed, run the knife along the break so you cut the back paper. Start in the upper corner. Hang the board at a right angle to the wall framing. For residential installations, drywall is typically applied horizontally or perpendicular to wall framing. Now that the board is in place, secure it to the framing with bugle head drywall screws. Each screw should be spaced 12 to 16 inches apart on the framing. Gold Bond drywall has grid marks, which are guide marks to assist with screw placement. When driving your screws, try not to tear the face paper and slightly indent the screw head so it's barely below the paper surface. Hold the board firmly in contact with the framing member as you drive your fasteners. On wood framing, screws should have a minimum penetration of 5 eighths of an inch, whereas on steel furring strips, screws should have a minimum penetration of 3 eighths of an inch. At this stage, you're ready to cut for receptacles. Simply but slowly cut out the receptacles you marked earlier. Most outlets are 2 inches by 4 inches. Just like before, measure, mark, and cut your remaining boards. You'll install the remaining boards at right angles and bring the board edges into contact with each other, being careful not to force them into place. Vertical end joints should be staggered in each row. The job is almost done and you're doing great. Let's start finishing. Embed joint tape along all board joints and on the inside corners. Setting type joint compound is used to embed mesh tape. Paper tape may be used with setting compound or ready mix joint compound. You'll apply two additional coats of joint compound over the first embedding coat and three separate coats over screw heads. Let each coat dry per the manufacturer recommendation. After the third coat of joint compound has dried, sand with a sanding block or disc until it's smoothed out. And that's it. You've just installed new drywall and the wall is ready to be primed, painted and decorated. 